we not gonna waste no time in this video we gonna get straight to it now if y'all missed it y'all need to go back and watch this fight chris eubank versus liam smith and chris eubank he showed the world this is how you go and get your lick back now we all know some months ago eubank he went in there and he got upset when Liam Smith surprisingly knocked him out, you know, in Eubank, man, him and Roy Jones, Roy Jones was coaching Eubank at that time. But now, you know, Eubank said, Roy Jones ain't getting it done for me. And the best thing that I think that Chris Eubank did is he moved to Terrence Crawford's camp and he started training with the same trainers, Saul, Red, and Bo Mac, that Bud Crawford trains with. You know what I'm saying? That was the biggest change with Eubank. He got away from Roy Jones. And in this fight, he dominated Liam Smith. Like I said, after being knocked out the last fight versus Liam Smith, and a lot of people were saying, it ain't no need for a rematch. We don't see why they putting on the rematch when Eubank just got knocked out. And this is how you get your lick back. And he telling, and he showing Errol Spence and the, everybody that's took an L, how you come back, how you put that L behind you, and you get your lick back. And man, he did it in dominant fashion. He did it in dominant fashion. You know what I'm talking about? Um, I got to give a shout out to Terrence Crawford's team, right? Bo Mack, Saul, and Red, man. They went out there and they gave Eubank a tremendous game plan. And like I said, man, he dominated Liam Smith from rounds one all the way to 10 when he knocked him out. He not only dominated him, he beat him up for 10 straight rounds. The fight wasn't even close at all. Eubank, he controlled the fight with his jab, and he just wore Liam Smith down throughout the whole fight, doing whatever he wanted to do. And you know, man, like I said, the best thing that he could have did is get away from Roy Jones. He proved that Roy Jones is not a good trainer. And I've been saying this for years. Roy Jones ain't a good trainer. You know, Roy Jones is my favorite all-time fighter inside the ring. But that don't mean that he's a good trainer. Um, the problem with Roy Jones is he tries to get fighters to fight like he did. That same style with the shoulder swinging down, you know, no defense and all of that, man. And that don't work. And Eubank went back to the style that he's comfortable with, you know what I'm saying? The style that he's always fought like. And he wasn't trying to fight like Roy Jones. And you saw a whole different fighter in that ring tonight, man. Um, and like I said, man, great game plan. And he just totally dominated the man. And that's how you get your lick back. And it's crazy, man, when we talking about getting your lick back. Because Errol Spence is looking to get his lick back against Terrence Bud Crawford. But the craziest thing is Eubank had Bud Crawford's trainer training him to get his lick back. You know what I'm talking about? What a coincidence. But... Like I said, man, uh, one thing that I heard in the post-fight press conference is Liam Smith. One thing he said, he was making excuses. You could call it an excuse or whatever you want to feel about it. But he said the weight was an issue, right? Having to cut more weight in this training camp, it was an issue. And he said he was flat throughout the fight. Now, I can't admit that Liam Smith didn't look like the same fighter that he was before. So, I'm asking was that a problem with Errol Spence? Was Errol Spence flat because, you know, he had to cut too much weight and he just couldn't fight at 147 no more? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna make an excuse, but I'm just saying that's the excuse that Liam Smith made for himself because he got dominated tonight. So we'll see if Errol Spence, whenever they do rematch, when Errol Spence and Bud Crawford do rematch, can he make the necessary adjustments? Can he prove that he just couldn't fight at 147 no more and the weight was an issue for him? We'll see that in the future. But it's crazy to me how Liam Smith tonight tried to make that excuse and blame the weight. Because at the weigh-in, he said that the weight was easy to make. He said he didn't have no problem making the weight. And he was telling Chris Eubank, are you going to blame the loss when I beat you this time on the weight again? You know, he says, I'm a 154 pounder, so it's 
easy for me to make this way. I didn't have a problem making the way. Are you going to make an excuse, Chris Eubank? And now look who ends up making an excuse about the way. That's funny. That's real funny to me. And that's exactly why Errol Spence didn't make no excuses. People was trying to get him to make the excuse about the weight after his loss to Terrence Crawford. But he said, look, man, I'm a man. I don't make no excuses. I take my losses with my chin up and my chest out. But like I said, man, shout out to Chris Eubank. Always been very talented. I was shocked when I saw he got knocked out the fight before when he fought Liam Smith because I wouldn't expect him to get knocked out. I actually expected him to look like he did tonight. And last night, I actually went back and I watched the first fight between him and Liam Smith. And although Chris Eubank was winning most of those rounds in the first fight before he got stopped, he didn't really look that good in that fight. He was letting Liam Smith push him back to the ropes and bully him throughout the fight. And tonight, he did the exact opposite. He was doing the bullying. He was controlling the whole fight. And he was showing that he was the much stronger and much superior fighter throughout the whole fight. Liam Smith couldn't do nothing. Liam Smith is a dirty fighter. He continued to hit Chris Eubank behind the head. We could tell who the referee was pulling for. The referee was pulling for Liam Smith. It was obvious. He was never giving Liam Smith no warnings for hitting behind the head. And in the first fight, Liam Smith hit Chris Eubank with elbows. You know what I'm saying? That's what first hurt Chris Eubank when he got hit with an elbow straight in the uh, mouth. You know, so Liam Smith, man, he showed time and time again that he's a dirty fighter. But being a dirty fighter, it didn't cut it for him tonight, man. Now, Chris Eubank, he's calling out Triple G. He said he want to fight Triple G. And for those who don't know, years ago, probably around 2017, Chris Eubank and Triple G was supposed to fight. But I believe Eubank's father, who was managing his career at that time, he had him pull out the fight. You know what I'm saying? For whatever reasons went on, he had Chris Eubank pull out the fight. And that's when Kell Brook stepped in and Kell Brook ended up fighting Triple G. But now, Chris Eubank is saying, you know, hey, Triple G is holding up the whole division. He's been holding on to that title for too long. And now it's time to get in the ring with me. So hopefully we can see Chris Eubank versus Triple G. But once again, shout out to, you know, Terrence Crawford's team, right? That trained Chris Eubank for this fight. Red, Saul, and Bo Mack, they did a great job giving him a nice game plan. And shout out to Chris Eubank for going out there, dominating Liam Smith and implementing the game plan and looking spectacular while doing it. Y'all let me know how y'all felt about the fight. Do y'all want to see Chris Eubank and Triple G finally? Drop a comment in the comment section. Make sure that you hit my like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subbed to the channel. Y'all already know how I do. Dago talking that boxing again and I'm gone.